Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to create um, swipe control in Game Maker Studio. So in a lot of um, Android or any touchscreen application or mainly game, you'll often find that there'll be a point where you have to swipe across an object to cut it or um, push it or anything like that. So today I'm going to show you how to um, push an object uh, through swipe control um, and this allows you to uh, set the object at a certain speed depending on how fast the person swipes across it. Okay, so uh, to start off with I've got two sprites, one called sprite ball, uh, precise collision checking is um, on, it's uh, 32 by 32 pixels and it's centered. And then the second one is Sprite Wall, which again is 32 by 32. Okay, uh, now for the room, just create an empty room. I uh, don't have to rename it or anything like that. Uh, mine's already set up here, and I'll show you how to do that uh, soon. Okay, um, you want three objects, one called OBJ Swipe Con, so that says for Object Swipe Control. Uh, another called OBJ Ball and another called OBJ Wall. Okay, so um, we'll start off with the wall. So I just gave it my sprite and set it to solid, and that's it. Uh, in the ball, I uh, gave it the sprite. In the create event, we have friction equals 0 0.2. This will make Game Maker slowly slow down our ball after we push it so it doesn't go on forever. Uh, in the step event, uh, we have if x is higher than room speed, or x is lower than zero, or y is higher than room height, or y is lower than zero. So basically, we're just checking to see if it's outside of the screen. Um, if it is, it sets the speed to zero and resets its x and y to the middle of the screen. So room width divided by two, so that's centered with the uh, room width. And room height divided by two centers it on the room height. So it'll be directly in the middle of the screen if it goes outside of the room. Okay, um, you don't have to have that, but just because it's possible to push the ball fast enough to send it past the walls, I've got that in mind just to set it back if that happens. Okay, uh, onto collision with wall. Just move, bounce, solid, and true for advanced. Um, and that's it for the ball. Now we move on to object swipe control. Okay, in the create event, we have four variables for our mouse x and y uh, position. So um, mx and my is used for the current mouse x and y position. Um, mx s and my s is uh, mouse X start and mouse Y start, so that'll be used for when we first click on the screen or press on the screen, whatever device you're using it on. Uh, swipe equals false, so whether we're currently swiping or not. Uh, the swipe time is set to zero and swipe speed is set to zero. I will be using those uh, to get our final speed. Okay. Uh, in the draw event, we have here draw set color C red, uh, draw line MXS, MX, um, MYS, MX, and MY. So we're just drawing a line from our mouse starting position to our mouse ending position, and that allows us to see our swipes. Uh, draw set color C, color C black, and then draw text um, 8 8 uh, swipe. So that's just to see our swipe variable and what it's set to, then I have draw text 8 and 32, uh, then I draw the swipe speed to the screen just to see the uh, speed of each swipe. So it's just for debug reasons, you don't necessarily need any of that, but it just allows you to see what's going on during the game. Okay, and then for our step event, which is where we actually check for our swiping. So in here, we start off by checking if the mouse is pressed. So if mouse check button pressed uh, and be left for our left mouse button, um, swipe equals true. Uh, so we set our swipe to true, so we are swiping 
Uh, draw equals true can go. That was from something else I was doing. Don't worry about that. Okay, uh, so yeah, swipe equals true. Uh, mouse x start equals mouse x. And mouse y start equals mouse y. Don't actually write mouse x start or mouse y start. Just write mxs or mys. Um, all right, and then if swiping is set to true, then we set our mx and my to our mouse coordinates, so mouse x and mouse y. Uh, we add one to our swipe time, so here I've written swipe time plus plus, but you could also write plus equals one, it just depends on how you want to write it. Um, if mouse check button released, and be left, so we're now checking for the end of the swipe, we set swipe to false, our swipe speed equals point distance, mxs, and ys, so our mouse uh, x and y start, and mxy and my, so not mxy, so just mx and my for our ending swipe positions, divided by swipe time. So if you did science or maths at school, uh, you'll know that speed equals distance over time. So we've got our time and our distance. So yeah, speed equals distance over time. And that allows us to get our speed. Right, um, and we set our swipe time back to zero for our next swipe. Um, fair i equals script swipe or SCR swipe check MXS, MYS, MX, and MY. I'll take you through that script in a second. Um, with i, which is returned from our script, and I'll show you that soon. Uh, speed equals other dot swipe speed. So that sets um, whatever object we swipe over, it sets its speed to the swipe speed. And then it sets the uh, object that we swipe over, it sets its direction to point direction. Uh, other dot mxs, other dot mys, other dot mx, and other dot my. So just from our mouse x and y start to our mouse x and y end. And now I'll take you through that script as well. So you can tick that off. And then I have this script called SCR swipe check. Okay, so we have four arguments at first. We have SX and SY, so start X and start Y. And we have end X and end Y, so EX and EY. All right, then instance, or just INST for short, equals collision line, SX, SY, EX, EY object ball because that's the thing we want to push. Uh, true for the uh, precision and true for not me. Then we return INST, which will give our object back the um, instance that it gets from that collision line. So we're just checking for objects in between the start X and start Y point, and we're setting uh, the instance ID to INST, and then we return that to our object, so it will go back into our step event. In here, you can see that I get set to the um, instance ID that that script returns. And then, um, yeah, we continue on to go into that object and set its variables accordingly. So that is it for the swiping. Uh, relatively simple, I'll just run this game to show you. I've set up my room like this, so I've got a uh, the object ball. I just threw in my swipe control, and then with the walls, I just created four walls and scaled them out to uh, fit the borders of the room. Okay, so I'm going to run this on Windows, but it'll work on Android as well. Probably, um, probably work on iOS as well. I haven't tried it, but it should do. All right, so yeah, I'll just run this. And as you can see, when we swipe, a line's drawn. Uh, you can see the variables on the top left. So, uh, swipe gets set to one. I let go. Gets set to zero because it was a really low swipe. Uh, sorry, not really low. It's really slow swipe. The speed is 1.8. If I do a fast one, 67.43. And I'll swipe over the object. And you can see it gets moved. That's pretty slow there. And I'll do a fast one. And you can see it goes a lot faster, depending on the uh, swipe.
yeah, so um, that's the basics of using swipe controls. There's other things you can do, like you can use this for like um, swiping down a menu or cutting an object as well, just by checking what object you're swiping over. But this kind of shows you the basics and gets you on your way to more advanced swipe controls. So uh, yeah, hope this helped you out. Um, feel free to subscribe if you want to see other videos that I upload. If you have suggestions on more videos, uh, you can contact me either through YouTube, or uh, preferably not in the comments. Um, if you have questions on this tutorial, feel free to comment those and I'll answer them as soon as possible. But for any requests, um, send a personal message through YouTube or a personal message uh, via the Facebook page, which I'll link to in the description. Um, but yeah, I hope this helped you out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.